Hello, I just watched Deadpool and Wolverine starring Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. And guys, you have to see this movie in theaters. There's no way around it. This is a cinematic experience that will never be topped if you're a Marvel fan. Except Spider-Man No Way Home. But I wanted to say the action in this movie is really great. The opening scene is giving me Deadpool in one vibes. The slow-mo and all the action and the, the even the cinematic shots are amazing and great. I wanted to say that when it comes to the the cameos in this movie, they really deliver guys. They do a really good job. They don't get your hopes too up. You're not gonna see like you you're not gonna see like su super important X Men's or like like any like comic act like any comic heroes that haven't appeared in live action yet. But I I'm sure I promise you you're still gonna get a kick out of this movie. This movie this movie also um it's it's also really funny it's an mcu movie but the humor is still the same as the deadpool movies and when it comes to the villain i think the villains okay the villain was kind of weak not the best villain not the best motivation we don't know a lot about her aside from she was just put in the void we see a liar from loki so that's pretty cool um i wish we saw mole cameos from Loki but I'm fine with just the regular um the regular Minutemen and Paradox was really good in the movie too everyone was really good in the movie Dog Dogpool is cute I wanted to say that I think the my only negative with the movie is the the script I, I don't know if it's like a script issue or like a pacing issue but the script felt kind of lackluster the, in terms of um, compared to the second two, the second two movies, oh, I'm sorry, the last two movies, they felt more complete. This one's this one feels all over the place, and I understand it's trying to it's trying to juggle Wolverine's tragic story and Deadpool's tragic story, but at the same time, they do feel a little like. Like there's going to there's too much going on, but it doesn't take away from the cool action and um all the cool moments that we see. The cameos got get you jumping up and down, and it, my I guess I guess the music is the actual the actual soundtrack is pretty good when it comes to like the music, like the songs and everything. Um, I could use less songs. And because I think there's maybe one too one too many songs, but you you know it's to get you going, to get you riled up, to to make you go like, hey, that's a song I know. But other than that, I think it was a good movie. If I were to, if I were to rate it, it'd be like a three out of five stars. Definitely an enjoyable movie that you can go watch in theaters. And it's a popcorn movie, definitely. Just you just did have a good time. You're not gonna get the same seriousness as Logan, or the same undertones and themes as X Men Two, but it's still a goddamn good time. And anyways, thank you for listening. This is gonna be my my spoiler free review. I'm making a spoiler review, um, as we speak. I just wanted a little video to post. Anyways, thank you guys. Any help is appreciated. Like and subscribe. And stay tuned for my spoiler review that's coming up soon.